Today it's about sprucing up your Christmas decor. We're going to be making a miniature crochet Christmas trees. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. In today's tutorial we're going to work on the miniature Christmas trees. These are nine inches tall for the big one and only three and a half inches tall for the small one. Today's tutorial we're gonna do the big one because the small one really all it is it's just, it's the bigger one just stopped a little bit early and you can see here in the instructions it says round 16 says continue as established increasing six stitches every third round. So after round number 16 what I put here for myself is 17 has uh, a repeat pattern and then seven, or 18, 19 then repeat pattern increasing again. So I just did this for myself in order to keep track. You can also do the same thing on your notes if, if you would wish as well. Now this is a made up of buttons that you see on here. I've seen these physical examples right from this photography. Uh, these trees are really qu quite cute in person. You know simple is sometimes better. I really like the simplicity and the ideas but I'm kind of lazy. So I would kind of sew, I would actually hot glue on my buttons instead of sewing. Again that's your personal choice. Now what you're gonna need in order to do this is that it's filled with poly, uh, polyfill like a, uh, a stuffing and then all you're just gonna do is that you're gonna stuff this but do not get the bottom and just set it down on a piece of cardboard and trace out the circumference of the circle and then also put it down on top of a piece of felt and trace that out. You're gonna uh, could leave the stuffing inside, put the piece of cardboard in and then sew the felt around and this will keep it a nice base just like you see. So within today's tutorial I'm gonna tell you when to stop if you're doing the small ones and we're gonna do this right from start to finish and this is a really neat look. For today's tutorial you're just gonna need lily sugar and cream. Just one ball just like you see here. You can actually do both Christmas trees with one ball of yarn and here's the big one just like you see here. It, it's really quite nice. Today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to cheat the system so that you do not have any slip stitching. This is a marker that I put in here and this is in a continuous round all the way around. There is no slip stitching involved in this so that you don't have a tree that you purposely need to turn to the wall or and then you can physically walk around this tree and never see slip stitching and I'm gonna improvise that from today's pattern but again if you'd like to follow the pattern as is you're welcome to do so. So what you're gonna need today is a uh, size four millimeter size G crochet hook today and only one ball li lily sugar and cream and let's get started now. So let's get started. I want you to cut another piece of string that is about 12 inches long and I just want you to leave it aside because you're gonna need it right away. So let's create a slip knot to begin the center of this and remember this is starting for both the small and the large and we're gonna continue and I'll let you know when to stop when you're doing the small size. So let's begin. We got the slip knot on. We're going to chain two. So one and two and coming into the first stitch you want to put in six single crochets. So just one, two, three, that is three. This is going to be four, five and six. Now what I want you to do is that I'm gonna improvise here. Normally you would slip stitch to the beginning and start again but you'll end up with a slip stitching mark all the way down the, the Christmas tree. I'd recommend not doing that. So just pull up a loop and I want you to insert your hook into the stitch right underneath the loop. Grab this piece of string and this will be a stitch marker for you to follow. So every time you get to the stitch marker you know that you've gone in a complete rotation just like that. Okay so just leave it in there and pull that string back on there and every time you finish a round I want you to uh, move the string and I'll show you in the next round on how to do this. So this is completing of round number one. Working in the back loops only you have to do a single crochet two of them in each of the next. I want you to count backward just in this particular round count backward from the stitch right underneath the hook. So one, two, three, four, five and six is right there. Go into the back loop only and I want you to put two single crochets in that one. So that just gets you established in a circle now. So it was one and I don't need to count. All I just need to do is just put two single crochets all the way until I hit that stitch marker. Okay there's a total of six anyway if you are counting. Okay so just move that stitch marker out of the way there because it's not the right stitch. Again going into the back loop only. The back loops on this is what creates the kind of um, interesting look that you see. Now here is the one with the stitch marker continuing in the back loop only and I want you to put in two 
single crochet is there but I don't want you to stop at this particular point. I want you to pull up a loop and now with your string just put your hook underneath the stitch, put the yarn um, marker there and just pull through and now you know where the next one is. By the time that you get all the way up through here your stitch marker will follow a straight line all the way to the top. So let's move along to round number three. So in this pattern there's gonna be two rounds each that are exactly the identical. So rounds three and four are always referred back to. So rounds three and four is just one single crochet into each. So what we're going to do throughout this entire pattern is that we do an increased row which would have been the last one and now the next two are just regular one single crochets each. This allows us to get the height of the Christmas tree and keeping the shape uniform. So two rows of just regular single crochets all the way around. Now one thing that you'll notice about crochet if you're new to crochet is that it does take a few rounds uh, especially when you're doing hats in order to get to the right size. So you're thinking okay well it's gonna end up like a tube. It will not because it takes like those couple rounds in order for the shape to really melt. So here's where the stitch marker is. I continue to back loop into that one. So that was round number three and then I wanna move my stitch marker up before I continue again. So just grabbing that pulling it through so I know where it is next time. It's worth doing that. So then round number four is again one single crochet. So in the rest of this tutorial every time I'm, I'm gonna refer to this particular round it's rounds three and four and I am going to be showing you the increasing rounds because that's where it's most important but there's always gonna be two rounds in between the increases which is just one single crochet in each. And so we'll be uh, getting to do that and that'll shorten up today's tutorial uh, presentation but also give you the, the keys that you need in order to make this Christmas tree. So I'm just continuing all the way around and I'm again looking for that stitch marker which is the next one here and now I'm ready for the next round. So just move up that stitch marker again. That'll indicate where I am and let's review round number five. In round number five we're gonna do another increase. So you're gonna notice in this entire project is that whenever we do an increase there will be uh, a, a set amount of single crochets in a row before you put two into the same one. So the last time we did an increase there was two single crochets in every stitch. This time the first one is going to be one single crochet into the first stitch and then the next one is gonna be two single crochets into the next stitch. So one and two. Okay so that's the repeat pattern all the way around. So the next one is just gonna be one by itself and the next one is gonna be two. So you continue to do that all the way around. So the next time we increase uh, what's gonna happen is that there will be more single crochets in between the groups of two where two are placed and that allows us to uh, progressively get bigger. Okay so continue that same process going all the way around. So one in the first one, two in the next. So because we're gonna be uh, doing a whole tutorial on this I'm not gonna uh, show an entire round like I am right now. It's just for the first time. If your counts are always right the very last stitch you will end up doing in there will always have the two uh, additional stitches, uh, two stitches inside of it before you move up. Okay so that just gives you an indication. So if you're not ending up there and you're keeping sequence you know something is completely wrong in your pattern. So just look back to where it was going right and you may have just accidentally missed one of the stitches or didn't uh, follow the sequence properly. So that was round number five. Let's go for round number six and seven. Okay round number six and seven simply just one single crochet into each. Please do this for rounds number six and seven. I'll meet you back here and we'll cover round number eight together. Okay rounds number six and seven are now complete. Now round number eight I have moved up my stitch marker so I stay in balance. Round number eight we're going to put in two uh, single crochets in a row so one and two and then the next one then will be two single crochets into the same one. So that's the repeat pattern for round number eight. So the next uh, two will be by themselves single crochets and then the next two are in the same stitch. Please continue that for round number eight. Okay I'm finishing up round number eight and I'm keeping it in sequence 
and the very final stitch of round number eight just happens to be the one that has two in there so that means I'm in the right stitch. Okay, so the one, whenever you're increasing the last one should always have the two in there. Okay, so let's uh, move up to rounds, num that was round number eight. So let's go for round number nine and ten. They're the same of just one single crochet into each. So please do rounds number nine and ten, one single crochet of each and I'll meet you back here in round number eleven where we'll do an increase once again. Okay, rounds number nine and ten are now complete. Let's go for round number eleven. We're gonna do another increase. So round number eleven this time there's gonna be three single crochets in a row. So one, two, and three and then there's gonna be two into the next one. So put two into this one. Okay, so the repeat pattern on this round number eleven is one, two, and three and then there's gonna be two into the next one. So please do that same configuration all the way around. I'll see you at the end. Okay, I'm finishing up round number eleven and I'm coming into my final home stretch. So one, two, and three and the very final stitch is the, where the two are in and let's put that in there. So two double crochets or sorry two uh, single crochets my apologies and move up that stitch marker. So for rounds number twelve and thirteen exactly what we already know go please and do rounds number twelve and thirteen just one single crochet into each. For those that are doing the small size we're coming up near to, to the end of your project today and uh, we're not quite done yet obviously but uh, please do rounds number twelve and thirteen of one single crochet in each. So let's go for round number fourteen rows twelve and thirteen are complete. So in fourteen it's gonna be um, four single crochets in a row. So one and two, three and four and then the next one has two in there. So that's where your two is this time. So again the repeat pattern is one, two, three and four and then two into the next one. Please do that same thing going all the way around. Finishing up round number fourteen is that we're just coming to the home stretch. So one, two, three and four and again the final stitch is where the two will fall into place. So we're going to continue up then uh, rounds number fifteen and sixteen and after you get number sixteen those that are doing the small version you are done at that point. So let's do rounds number uh, fourteen and fifth sorry fifteen and sixteen now and I'll meet you back here. Uh, there's just one single crochets in each and I'll meet you back here and for those that are doing the small size I'll re I'll review what you need to do next and then for those kind of carrying on to the bigger size you can uh, continue to follow me along for the remainder of the tutorial. So rounds number fifteen and sixteen are done and this is the size of a small one Christmas tree right here. It's about three and a half inches tall and so now what you're gonna do is because I had you go in continuous rounds and just slip stitch to the next two. So just through and through and then just fasten off this yarn and then just I what I would do is leave enough yarn, yarn on here to use it as a sewing to go all the way around. The next thing that you're going to do if you're in the small size just stuff this with polyfill and lay it down on a piece of felt or material and also uh, just so that you can trace the circle all the way around. Also lay it down on a piece of cardboard. You are going to leave the stuffing inside place in your cardboard and then with the whip stitch uh, just sew that material in this edge all the way down and then it will sit completely flat. You can then just decorate with buttons if you wish. I would use a hot glue gun because I'm lazy. Um, obviously take out your stitch marker here and that would be the way to go. You'll also do that if you're doing a larger size as well. So for those that want it to be bigger just put the last two stitches I just showed you and we're gonna move up and so what I've done on the instructions let me just pull that up now and I'm gonna show you what I've done so that you can keep track yourself. So in the instructions it says over here to continue as established in increasing six stitches on the next and then every following third round there will be um, uh, uh, an increase of stitches. So you're looking to get a total of sixty six single crochets all around. When we finished off round numbers fifteen and sixteen there was only thirty six. So what I've done here if you want to do a freeze uh, frame of the, the picture here on screen you can do so. So what I did is seventeen is going to be an increase. So if you remember that when we did round number fourteen there was one single crochet in the next four and then it has been continuing to increase. So round number seventeen one single crochet in the next five and then two single crochets and then there's gonna be two single crochet rounds after that for rounds number eighteen and nineteen. 
20, there's one, uh, one single crochet in the next six and then two and then one and one. Okay, rounds number 23, one single crochet in the next seven and then two and then one and one for 24, 25. 26 is one single crochet in the next eight, two single crochets in the next and then one and one. And then finally in round number 29, it's one single crochet in the next nine and then two single crochets after that. Okay, and so the final two uh, rounds are just gonna be rounds number 30 and 31. That's, there's gonna be two rounds like it would be after the increasing just like so. So without further ado, let's move on to round number 17 and we're gonna start doing increasing to get in bigger. Okay, round number 17, the first five are gonna be one single crochet. So one and two and three, four and five and then the next one is two single crochets. So that's the repeat pattern on this whole round. So five in a row single crochets and then two in the next. Please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Finishing up round number 17 going in the home stretch. So one, two, three, four and five and then the next stitch is the two. So what I need you to do now rounds number 18 and 19 are what you know is just one single crochet each. So continue to go rounds number 18 and 19 on your own. So starting up again just one single crochet and I'll meet you back here uh, after that and we'll start round number 20 together. Okay rounds 18 and 19 just one single crochet is in each are now complete. We're ready for round number 20. Round number 20 the first six are going to be by themselves. So um, I'm just gonna restart that one get all the plies. So one, two, three, four, five and six and now the ready the next one is ready then for two in the same one. So please continue that same pattern all the way around. So six in a row and then two, six in a row and then two and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Coming up all the way around on the end of number uh, 20, the final six, one, two, three, four, five and six and then the final one where the stitch marker is is the one with the two. So like it's still in balance at this point at least it, it is on mine. <laughs> and now let's move out the stitch marker again. So rounds number 21 and 22 are all just gonna be single crochets each. So please do rounds number 21, 22, one single crochet into each and I'll see you back here and we'll start number 23 together. Rounds number 21 and 22 are now complete. Let's do 23 together. So number 23 is single crochet in the next seven this time. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And then the next one is two into the same one. So round number 23 is seven single crochets in a row and then two into the next. Please continue that same idea going all the way around. Finishing up round number 23, the final seven is gonna be one single crochet each and then uh, then two in the last. So uh, this is number two, three, four, five, six and seven and then the last one has two into the same one. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna move up to rounds number 24, 25, just one single crochet each please. So we're just gonna just move up the stitch marker every time of course. Hopefully that you're finding that a nice easy way to keep a count of your stitches. So please do rounds number 24, 25, one single crochet each and I'll see you back here and we'll review number round 26. So I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay rounds 24, 25 of just one single crochet are now done and let's do number 26. So this time number 26 it's eight in a row. So that's single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then the next uh, one is just two into the next one. So please do that same idea going all the way around. So eight in a row and then two, eight in a row and then two and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Coming up all the way around on round number 26, the last eight. So one, sorry the we're gonna finish it off so that there's gonna be eight single crochets and then there's finally gonna be two single crochets in the final one. So I'm really not counting at this point. I've already counted all the way around so I know uh, when I'm looking for stitch markers that I know exactly what to do. So this is the stitch marker so there's gonna be two single crochets into that one. 
So rounds number 27, 28 we're nearly done uh, today but rounds number 27, 28, 28 are going to be one single crochet in each and please do that and I'll see you back here and we'll review number 29 and 29 is the final increase and then we just got a couple more row, uh, rounds after that. So please do rounds number 27, 28 now. I'm now ready for round number 29. So 27, 28 are now done. 29 we're gonna increase again. So this time it's gonna be nine in a row. If you've gotten this pattern and you really like to make your trees much bigger, just look how I've done it for the increase and then you can just continue to follow that increase until you get to the height that you want. So let's do the first nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and then the next two or the next one has two in there. So please do that for round number 29. So nine in a row and then two in the next. And please do that and I'll see you back here and then we're gonna finish up. We've got two more rounds after that. Just one single crochet each and then you can start doing the decoration and just finalizing. So now coming up all the way around for round number 29 and the final uh, nine are gonna be in and then the last one is two single crochets. I've almost got two full Christmas trees out of one yarn ball. Technically in the instructions it says that you can. I think because I'm a loose crocheter I, I cannot do that and so I am actually two rows short of being able to do it uh, two Christmas trees out of one. So that's good to know if you're uh, planning ahead and of course I would consider doing uh, another size even bigger than this one uh, just so that you have a set of three so you have like a, a small, medium, large. Daniel always says the odd numbers are great. So let's without further ado let's move up the stitch marker and rounds number 31 or 30 and 31 are the final rounds. They're gonna be one single crochet into each and please do that now and when we come back we'll just review on what you need to do to finish up and start decorating your Christmas tree. So one single crochet into each all the way around. So now coming up all the way around on the final and what I'm just doing is I'm single crocheting as normal into each one and what I've just hit the stitch marker I'm not gonna move it up because I'm done. So the next two I'm just gonna do a slip stitch in order to bring it kind of back in balance and what I need you to do is that I want you to cut this string here about two feet long. Okay do, uh, be generous on that don't be cheap. <laughs> don't be cheap. Okay so um, pull that through Okay and this is now your uh, sewing needle or sewing string. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna grab your poly stuffing, your poly, uh, poly fill, pull out your stitch marker that you were in that you used. Okay so now you see you don't have any st uh, stitch, slip stitching. Okay cause you've gone all the way around like that. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna stuff this okay put the poly fill in and then once it's stuffed to the size that you want it you're gonna lay it down and you're gonna trace this Okay with your pen. Okay you're just gonna trace all the way on a piece of uh, felt okay or a piece of thick material and then you're gonna cut that out and then you're gonna also trace this down on cardboard and then you're gonna cut that out. So with your poly stuffing already inside you're gonna put your cardboard in to push the to keep the poly filled nice and flat at the bottom and then the material that you cut you're just gonna take this string and just sew it. Now if you look at the photograph that's been provided in and by the photographer you'll see that you can see it here and see so it's just a whip stitch going all the way around. So you'll have a nice flat bottom. Take your time doing that and of course you can add more than just buttons. You can decorate any which way you wish and uh, I got now two trees. I just gotta finish decorating them now. I did a sample obviously and now I got two bad boys and now I can have something for a centerpiece for home as well. So this is how you do the Christmas trees. Hopefully you enjoy. I'd love to see how you decorate your tree. So just uh, give us an update on Facebook uh, whether it's the Crochet Crowd or Your Inspirations and uh, let's see what you've come up with as far as decorating your tree. Till next time Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.